Hello everybody, I'm Greg Stock. I'm the CEO of Thibodeau Regional Health System. And we're here today at the John Faltz Culinary Institute at Nickel State University. We have some really great people here who are part of a special program that's been developed over here which Thibodeau Regional supports. Why don't you give an overview of who comes and what part of the, their training it is and so forth. Well, Nichols is proud to host LSU New Orleans School of Medicine third year students. So these students are just starting their third year where they're going to be for the first time seeing patients. This course gives them basic nutrition education and some culinary skills so that when they're out there seeing patients they can talk about dietary and lifestyle choices. So two weeks we try to cram in a lot of basic information. Our goal is to be able to um, teach the medical students how to start conversations with their patients because what we know about diet and our eating patterns is that um, our diet can help to prevent and to manage chronic conditions um, so we can help to prevent conditions before they even happen. Um, it's difficult to teach a child to ride a bike if you don't know how to ride a bike yourself. And so if we're able to incorporate lifestyle changes, diet changes, and we're able to learn basic cooking skills to practice in our own kitchen, it's easier to talk to patients about it. Um, so instead of hearing you know, the phrase, you should lose weight or you need to follow this Mediterranean style eating pattern, a physician can you know, start that conversation with some basic knowledge before referring to a dietitian so a patient isn't so overwhelmed with that advice. So you're the, you're the big chief over here. I tell about your hat. <laughs> tell about your hat. Uh, talk, talk a little bit about the specifics, some of the specifics in, in the food that's being prepared. Okay, so um, together, me and Allison have chosen some different topics that they discuss, and so every day when they come in, they start with a lecture with Miss Allison, and then they come into the kitchen, and we cook based on whatever the topics were that they discussed that day. For example, like uh, lactation and pregnancy, early pregnancy, and teaching children to eat more fruits and vegetables, and then for that day, we'll go in and we'll cook those types of foods. That's awesome. So I was, I was messing with your, your students in there a few minutes ago. I told them, I said, I have uh, chest pain, <laughs> nausea, and shortness of breath. And one of them said, have some of our beans. <laughs> right. Beans must be good. <laughs> no, but a lot of these students are like, I've never tried this before. I really exactly. like this. And so like for them to be able to have, like you said, the conversations with the patients about don't be afraid of whole grains and, and right. trying some, maybe something unfamiliar like couscous or tabbouleh or, or things of that nature because they can be nice that? and delicious as well. <laughs> So, <clears throat> congratulations to Nichols, to all you great people that work here, doing something what I would call innovative, forward thinking, where you're working with these young doctors who are so smart and capable, and sometimes a little bit in a silo. Here you're, you're broadening the whole thing, and you're enabling them to teach uh, concepts uh, that will really bring a lot of joy and happiness ultimately. That sounds like a soft word, but it's not. And avoid all the negative things that can, can happen to people when they ignore this kind of stuff. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank you, you. Mr. Stop.